find the domain of the vector valued function RT equal to natural log T, T minus one over T squared minus one, square root of T plus one. So how do we find the domain? For RT, if I put a T in there, to get something out that makes sense, we're gonna have to get something that makes sense for each of the coordinate functions. So that means to be in the domain of RT, we're gonna have to be in the domain of each of XT, YT, and ZT. So each of these. Okay, all at the same time. So the idea is if I put a T in and one of these fails, then the whole thing fails. So what we're gonna do is take the domain of each function, take the intersection. Okay, let's find the domains. So natural log of t, domain here is t bigger than zero. I'm not allowed to put zero in, I'm not allowed to put negative numbers in. We check it against the graph. So here's the graph of natural log t. I do the vertical line test. We're only gonna get things in the domain if we take positive numbers. Okay, if we go zero or negative, you're not gonna hit the graph at all. Okay, yt, t minus one over t squared minus one. In this case, you're only in the domain of a rational function where the denominator is non-zero. So in this case, the denominator is gonna be zero at minus one and one, so we keep everything else. Now, you might wanna simplify, you could simplify this down to one over t plus one, but then you're gonna keep t equal to one in your domain, and that's not correct because if you stick one into the original function, you get zero over zero, which, okay, that's not well-defined. All right, ZT, we have square root of T plus one. So what we're gonna do here is, we just take T plus one, set it greater than or equal to zero, and then that gives me T greater than or equal to minus one. So now I have our three domains. Okay, the way we can do bookkeeping, I'm gonna draw three real lines. We'll put each domain on each real line, and then if I want the intersection, I just do vertical line test. If my vertical line goes through a point that's in the domain of all three, we keep it. If you're missing in one of them, we throw you away. So, first one, t greater than zero. Second one, t not equal to minus one or one. And then third one, t greater than or equal to minus one. Okay, we do our vertical lines, what happens? So, going up to zero and including zero, we're not gonna have points in this first one, so we can just throw all that away. So that's not gonna be in there. Then, okay, zero's not in there, but we can check the region between zero and one. So all points between zero and one, we keep. I get to one, it's not in our middle one, so I throw that away. And then you note, when I get past one, we're gonna be in all three, so I keep everything past that way. So what do we have? We have t greater than zero, and then we just throw away one. So that's gonna be the domain of RT.